We're going to start, though, with David Willey, who's admitted the fact that he didn't receive an England central contract ahead of the World Cup did contribute to his decision to call time on his international career. Yeah, Willey made his announcement after England lost to India and he's explained to Owen Morgan and Ian Ward why now is the right time to say goodbye. Over the last, you know, probably six to eight months, um, you know, the, the landscape's changing. There's... It's always been hard for me to, to make sure I'm in them squads and I've got no guarantees and the anxiety leading up to every selection and, and then when I am playing, looking over my shoulder, um, you know, it, it starts to weigh heavy on you. And I've, I've done that for a long time now and, um, yeah, you know, I was desperate to play in this World Cup and, you know, it was great to, to be here. But, um, you know, all that rolled into one, you know, I just felt... I've given my all and, and I don't think I can do that anymore. Can I ask why now in terms of the timing of the announcement with three games still to go in a World Cup? It doesn't look like you're going to defend the title by any means, but there are still things to play for prior to play for. So why now the timing? Yeah, look, I, I think towards the back end of the summer, I knew it was always going to be around this time. I knew it was coming. Um, I wasn't sure what my involvement would be in the, the white ball stuff in England before we came. Um, made, made the side here. Um, and you know I've managed to, to get into the side and, and, and perform, and I just feel that you know I think it's not very many many opportunities in cricket to walk away when the time is right for you. And I really wanted to finish my career, you know whatever my involvement is in these last three games, able to enjoy it and not carrying the weight of this decision, um, and and looking over my shoulder, thinking if I'm not performing, I'm out of the side again, and you know to have played three games. And that game against India, full crowd, um, in a World Cup in India, which I've touched on previously. Um, you know, I walked out to bat there. The, um, they were doing a strobe light, light show. Um, <laughs> you know, and, and I thought, as I walked down the steps, I thought, I'm done. What about the contract situations? Obviously, 29 were announced. Several headline acts, some getting three years, some getting two years. Ben only signing in one year. The one omission in this World Cup squad was you. Can you just explain the timeline of the conversation that led to you being in the World Cup 15 to come and try and defend the, the crown, yet not walking into the World Cup with a central contract? Yeah, look, I think that for me was probably the, the final nail in the coffin, really, um, and made my decision a lot easier. Um, but, you know, these conversations around contracts all happened um, before we came out. So when we joined up at Lords, I knew I was the only one that, that didn't have one. Um, it was difficult. Like, um, you know, I feel with two World Cups in, in 12 months, um, knowing my position in the, in the squad, should there be injuries or, or, or whatever, you know, I'm, I'm a chance. I feel like I'm always a chance. So. Um, look, I don't. I'm not involved in how these are put together. Who selects them? Don't necessarily have to agree with them, but you know there are decisions that are made, and I have to respect them. And um, and I make decisions based on how I feel around that. Were you upset, angry? What was the emotions when you found that you weren't going to get one? Yeah, I think upset, upset, angry, disappointed. <clears throat> but as I said, you know, I, I respect their decision. Don't have to agree with it, and um, it made my decision a lot easier. You'll be able to see more of that interview tomorrow morning in the build-up to England against Australia. It's live on Sky Sports Cricket from 8am.